Hello, I'm Bhavna Thakur. I'm a managing director at Everstone Capital and I head capital markets and exits over there. The story starts in the 1990s when I was looking for a job on Wall Street and I remember going to the career council at Columbia and being told that I would have to wear a skirt suit for my interviews on Wall Street and I was extremely surprised. I had at that time gone home uh, for the holidays and had a very nice pan suit made by my mother's tailor in Connaught Place and was determined to wear that as my lucky suit for my interviews and I did and I actually got all the jobs that I was looking for. So that was my first stereotype busted. The second stereotype during the interview process was that I was going to be interviewed by this lady who was to head the Paris office of a major law firm and she was known as the dragon lady and many other epithets were used about her and I was warned in advance that uh, she was going to eat me for breakfast and she was an extremely difficult woman and she actually hated women. When I went into her office, she turned around, she has a very chic bob, she was wearing a red Chanel suit and she looked extremely stern. What proceeded to follow was, I would say, one of the best interviews of my life where this lady actually talked to me about me as a person and what I cared and not standard questions like what are you going to do 10 years from now and 15 years from now. She was an extremely tough and demanding person and I actually ended up working for that law firm and working for her. I learned a lot from her and she became one of my biggest mentors in life. So that was another stereotype busted. Obviously, you know, things are not that hunky-dory in those days and even sometimes now you walk into boardrooms, you walk into meetings and in those t days I used to be the only woman in the room. Now I see a few more women in the room and clearly it was hard to get a voice on the table. Sometimes uh, people didn't listen to you. Sometimes even if you went very, very well prepared, people could be dismissive. There was a fair amount of mansplaining. There's a fair amount of condescension. There was a quite a lot of microaggression. Some of it was blatant and in your face. And that was easier because you could fight it and you could be there and you could talk and you could speak up and you could do all those things. Some of it was a little harder because there was some unconscious bias, there were some preconceived notions about women's performance and the only way that you could actually sort of change that opinion was a lot of hard work from your side. So I think it required a lot more preparedness being a woman. I think it took longer to get there. The point took much longer to get made. But over a period of time I realized that if you use your authentic voice, if you were really there, well prepared and people trusted you, then you could make some headway. And I realized that everybody's voice was going to be different. I remember, you know, trying to pitch for a front line role and I was told, but what are you going to do? How are you going to spend time with the clients? Are you going to be able to take them to basketball games or are you going to be able to play golf with them? How will you develop these social connections if you're going to be in a sales job? And it was quite difficult for me, um, you know, on Wall Street and even when I came back to India, it was not that simple. And then I thought about it and I said, what are the things that I like to do? I have to do something that is real for me. I invited a client and his wife out for theatre and um, we had a fantastic evening and that became a social connection, became a very good client uh, of ours and a very good connection over time. In other situations, I put my hand up to be the problem solver. I was beside the clients in their tough times as well as their good times. So they began to call me when they realized that they were in trouble. It was not always the easiest way to be or the, where I got the most credit, but I did get the more long-term relationships. So what I'd like to say here is that the path may, may not be linear. I think there are a lot of obstacles uh, to women. There are a lot of stereotypes, but there's also a lot of help that you get along the way. The bottom line is that you need to ask for help. You need to be honest and you need to be authentic. So go ahead, take some risks. You can do these stretch assignments, you can shatter these stereotypes and you will get all the help and support you need if you ask for it.